Hello, Fantasy Faithfuls, and welcome to Fantasy Snapshot, where I'm looking at John Brown. Brown is facing the New England Patriots in Week 4. The Patriots have given up 34 points to wide receivers, least in the NFL so far, 13 least in 2018 total, 10.1 yards per reception, and zero touchdowns. Second and 14 to the end zone. Pass is caught for the touchdown. John Brown. Breaking down his receiving, Brown is being targeted mostly over the middle and to the right side of the field in the short zones, while being an outside the numbers guy deep with 17% of his targets coming deep right, a massive number. His catch rate are not what I would call impressive anywhere to be honest. I have a benchmark of 60% in the short zones and the only one that he reaches that is in the zone he sees the least amount of targets to. Add that New England are the fourth best team in the league covering the short right zone and it is looking iffy. He gains a decent amount of yards when he catches the ball though, being above league average everywhere, but the deep right, the zone that looked to be his best one. It will have to be over the middle, he hurts the Patriots if he can, both deep and short, at these are the only zones that they're not top 5 in defending, but I'm skeptical to say the least. He doesn't come with a high floor or a high ceiling right now. He was working towards a higher floor with Flacco last year, but Jackson killed that. We will see if he can race it with Allen in a couple of weeks. What we can see though is that he still has plenty of boom power to outscore that ceiling and almost no risk in being below the floor. But with a floor that low, the bus risk really should be close to zero. His touchdown rate over the last two years has been 5%, just 1% below league average, close to the mean, so we shouldn't expect big changes here. With how the Bills are playing at the moment, the way they're using Brown in combination with how the Patriots handles receivers, I have him projected for more targets than last week, with 9 and 2 more receptions at 6. In 3 weeks, Brown should have been started just once with a wide receiver 11 finish in week 1. Last year, Brown had 3 usable weeks, and I will show you why this won't be one of them in the next segment if I haven't convinced you yet. I would like to take a second to remind you to hit that like button, leave a comment what you think about this video, and subscribe to the channel. I love every interaction I have with y'all, and every little bit helps me put out even more content. Looking at this week's situation, the Bills are playing at home versus a top 16 air defense with a winning record. For Brown, this is the absolute worst situation. He is at or below 30% of his scoring in all these situations, meaning that his projection will be heavily impacted by him usually scoring below his average. In the last three games he's played, he has seen zero red zone targets. What is even more worrying is that New England has only allowed two pass attempts in the red zone so far, so I don't believe he will get any opportunities for this in week four either. Based on all these stats, he has a risk factor of 5% this week, meaning the algorithm thinks we should be careful as the projection will be extremely low compared to his usual average. For the game against the Patriots, I have him projected for 4.5 vantage points. So in conclusion, he does not match against New England in the receiving aspect, hasn't been super usable, is in a terrible situation, and we should be worried about the red zone. 4.5 is all we should hope for. What do you think about Brown? Are you starting him this week? And what do you think about him moving forward? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content. The Bills both have put their fingerprints on this one. Third and four, big play, Allen, and he's got him at the five, the end zone, a flag caught by Brown. Hello, Funny and Faithful. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out more of them right here and here. In case you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat.